Yo, what is going on, buddy? Crypto Kid here. Come at you again with another video, guys. Today, bringing you guys a highly requested video Chainlink 2021 price prediction. Before this video starts, I feel like I kind of just have to talk about Ethereum. Uh, so, obviously, smashing all time highs. If you guys have been watching my videos, I've been predicting this for the past couple of weeks, and we finally did it. Uh, we basically ended up going up to like $1,430, $440 today um, at the peak. Uh, coin market cap only has it at $1,411, but we know it went higher. Um, so, yeah, definitely pretty gratifying there if you guys held Ethereum. But now, real quick, what you guys can do if you are Ethereum holders and you're looking to get some more chain link is go over to the link to ETH pair um, and go ahead and trade your ETH into link. As you can see, 14% is what Ethereum gained on Chainlink in the past 24 hours. Uh, if you wanna check out these daily candles, whenever there's a massive um, either green candle or red candle, usually the following day is the opposite. So after this big red candle, I one can assume that tomorrow is going to be green, and if not tomorrow, it's probably gonna be a smaller red candle followed by that big green candle. Um, so yeah, I do think this is a really solid time. If you wanna get in on some more Link and you own some Ethereum, you can go ahead and transfer that over. Um, as for the USD pairings, things are looking a little rocky here. Um, as, as of right now, the prices are starting to drop a little bit. Um, we have Chainlink under $21 at 2098. Oh, just bounced back up. So Chainlink right around the $21 level. Um, and then Ethereum actually did not hold support at $1,400. We're back below $1,400. Um, but yeah, a lot of these at kind of key resistance levels, as you can see, Ethereum just took a hit. Um, but once again, we're not really reading the hourly, the minute time frames because I'm sure a lot of you understand there's just bots trading these things 24-7 trying to shake people out. I know that there's a lot of big players at hand trying to shake out the little guys. Um, so I guess like one mindset you can take, it's kind of a pessimistic one, um, but just like pretend that everyone's out to get you. Uh, I was talking to my friend today and I was telling him because he's new to crypto, I was saying pretend everybody is out to get you trying to make you sell and that's the mindset you have to have in a bull run like this. Of course, eventually you're going to sell, but no one's really in crypto just to make those like 20, 30% gains. You know, we're here for the 10X, the 20X gains. And if you really want to get there, you got to just hold and you got to be patient. So when your coin does go down 1%, 5%, 10, 20, even 30%, um, like we saw the, uh, last week, you just can't really like you can't get you can't get your emotions involved. You kind of just got to hold on and double down on those investments. But regardless, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Where is the price of Chainlink going? I promise you guys, I'm not going to bore you with the fundamentals in this video uh, about Chainlink at its core. All I will say, just generally, Chainlink has an incredibly impressive amount of partnerships in the space. I, they're making new ones every single day. This is a coin that really does offer real world utility. The sheer amount of partnerships they're making every single week is just, it's crazy. Every single coin in crypto, not every single coin, but a whole lot of coins are reliant on Chainlink to survive and to thrive. So Chainlink is going to be here for the long run. I can tell you that much. Uh, in my opinion, it's just inevitably going to move up closer and closer to the top five, hopefully breaking into the top three someday. Uh, it's going to be hard to pass Polkadot at this rate, um, but I think XRP, well, the lawsuit, I, I don't believe the lawsuit is going to be carried out till February 22nd, I believe, is the date for the virtual lawsuit um, between SEC and Ripple. Uh, labs. So between now and then, I really do think Chainlink stands a marvelous shot at breaking into the top five for cryptocurrency. Sounds crazy to say, but it really is true. Um, but yeah, real quick, guys, we're going to go ahead and scale the market cap of Chainlink all the way up to basically like just different uh, market caps. So first off, we're going to be looking at XRP in the 2016 bull run. Um, we ended up getting all the way up to around an $85 billion dollar market cap um, at the top here. So kind of crazy. Uh, $88 billion this site has it at, but we know it was a little bit higher than that. Um, I think the highest I saw on the site was around like $150 billion or something absolutely crazy like that. Basically around Ethereum's levels right now. So we're saying minimum Chainlink, which is $8.5 billion, less than $8.5 billion. If it just scales up to $85 billion at the peak of this bull run, which we know it will, or at least I'm super confident it will, barring any crazy news, that's at minimum 
10x for Chainlink. So from current prices, we're looking at around $210 per link token from here. And that's just with basically half of Ethereum's market cap and just basically the minimum market cap at the peak of the bull run for XRP. Uh, so obviously super exciting to think about. And I think what a lot of people don't understand is just how early we are to this bull run. This is going to be an incredible year in cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is hopefully going to soar all the way up past six digits. We're looking at $100,000 minimum per Bitcoin. If that is the case, I'm guessing Ethereum is going to go with it to at least $2,500. And then that's when coins like Chainlink, Cardano, um, XLM, Tezos, Algo, VeChain, Synthetics, all these coins with solid fundamentals start to pump to oblivion. They just start to go crazy. Um, and we really will see eventually an $85 billion market cap for Chainlink, in my opinion. And that is just the minimum. Um, so yeah, minimum $210. Personally, I don't see, I thought a lot of people are going crazy saying a $1,000 uh, chain link. At the moment, I don't really see how that would work. Um, it would basically need to have like around Bitcoin's market cap, which is a little bit absurd in my opinion. That's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, that, that'd basically be, let's see, $1,000 would be what, uh, 50, 50x from here. Um, so we're looking at like if around like four, I'm, I'm just like... Quick mental math here, 400, 400 billion or something like that. Um, that seems about right. So like a $400 billion market cap for Chainlink. I don't foresee that in the 2021 bull run. If we want to talk 25, I mean, sure. I really, if as long as, he, as, long as Chainlink keeps um, up with all these partnerships and keeps improving um, its, its technology, I really don't see why that wouldn't be a possibility considering how vital it is to some of these coins. Um, so yeah, honestly... In the, in the far future, 2025, I could see Chainlink at $1,000 per coin. I don't think that's out of the question at all. But in just 2021, which is what this video is about, I honestly do believe Chainlink is heading past $200 per coin. I, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research, but I think that is entirely possible. Um, so yeah, go ahead, guys. You can at me a year from today. See if I was right. See if I was wrong. That's the kind of the fun of this thing is we don't really know where exactly things are going. We can only do our research and give our best guess. So that's my prediction, guys. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking. And I'll see you all in the next video. If you are a Link Marine, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Going to be coming out with a ton of videos on Link. It is now my largest position in all of cryptocurrency after this ETH bull run um, or like big movement. So yeah, regardless, thank you all for watching. Once again, let's hope Bitcoin can stay above 36 k and hopefully this link to ETH chart starts to look a little better um, right now. Hopefully don't, we don't see another big red candle tomorrow. So that's going to be for this one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.